Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about practical activity. First, we talk about the cover. The cover contains the school name or the logo of the school, the name of the experiment, measurement of resistance, student's name, and the teacher's name. The first point, it has two marks. Initiating and planning contains what? We talk about aims, prediction, a purpose. Aims from, from the lab manual to find the resistance of an unknown resistor from the graph of the current against the potential difference across it. Prediction, of course, we predict the actual value is about 5 ohm. A purpose, uh, this, the purpose that we used exactly in the experiment. Power supply switch, five ohm resistor, a meter volt meter rheostat, connecting wires. Next point, exploring and recording. This has three marks. First, we talk about procedure. We write the procedure from the lab manual. Also, we have to draw the circuit diagram. And now, safety. This is uh, included in the exploring and recording. It contains the pr uh, uh, procedure, safety, and results. Safety, we write the safety. If too large current is used, then the wires can get hot, which causes burns. Results, that are the results of the experiment. We collect the result in a table. Now, the next point, analyzing and interpreting. This is a very important, this is the experiment. It has three marks, take care. It contains, analyze the result. We talk about the results of the table that we got it. So for example, when the voltage is 0.3 volt, the current was 65 milliampere. When the voltage is 0.4 volt, the current was 90 milliampere. That is the current increased by 25 milliampere. milliampere. But when the voltage increased by 0.1 volt, the current increased by 15 milliampere and then 20 and then 25. It means what? It means that the first reading was extreme. Maybe because the temperature of resistance was less at the beginning, then increased with the time. Enter part of the result. We draw the graph. We have to upload the graph. IV graph, current voltage graph, and we draw the best fit line. And from the graph, we find the slope. The slope was 0.211, and R equals 1 over slope equals 4.7 ohm. Now we talk about this value, 4.7 ohm, and the relation between it and the actual value 5 ohm. Discuss the result. The actual value of the, res of the resistance was 5 ohm and the calculated value of 4.7 ohm. Now to compare with the divide, 4.7 divided by 5, 0 0.9. So it means that the calculated value was 0 0.9 times less than the actual value. Why it is not exactly 5 ohm? Because of two reasons. Now we discuss why it is not the same value. The first reason is the best fit line. The second reason is the parallax error for reading the ammeter and voltmeter. Conclusion. Now we write conclusion about the experiment related to the aim also. We did this experiment to measure the resistance of resistor from the graph of the current against potential difference. We found that the value of the resistance was nearer to the actual value of the resistance, but little difference. Why? Because some errors of the experiment, such as the way of reading a meter and voltmeter, it was not perfect. Our eye must be directly above the needle of a meter and also above the needle of voltmeter to reduce the parallax error. Now generalization. We talk in this point general. We, we, we do something general about this experiment. In general, we found that the value of resistance can be calculated from what? From the graph of current against potential difference. Last point of uh, criteria, communication and the teamwork. It has two marks. It contains three points. Collaboration, first collaboration, suggestion, and the difficulties. Collaboration. The experiment was done in a group. You talk about the group that did the experiment with you. Muhammad connected 
the circuit Ali and Ahmed took the reading the readings of a meter and voltmeter while I recorded the results in the table then draw the graph I suggested this is important that if we repeat the experiment this is for the future we must use digital ammeter and the digital voltmeter why to avoid parallax error difficult of course we faced this difficult upon com uh, uh, commencing the experiment the voltmeter was not working why due to the damage of the wires because I connected the, the, the voltmeter many times, but it was not working. Why? Because they appeared to be worn off from inside. The wires was cut inside. I hope you understand this video. I hope you understand this way of explanation. Thank you.